Divers like to talk gear. So let's talk gear. What do I dive with? Well, first of all, I just have a really basic snorkel. It's not even a semi-dry or dry. Just a basic one. But it works for me for the little bit that I use this. But I always have it with me. It's very important gear to have. My mask is the Mares I3 with a slap strap on it. And then what I like to do for my hair is I have a swimmer's cap that I dive with. I stick my hair up underneath there. I use one of those, you know, it's not a really a bandana, but you can put, do all kinds of different things with it. It just didn't seem to work as well as this. For fins, I researched and then I ended up getting the force fins. I really like them. They work good. I'd have to really test them out to see how they perform against other fins. But for me, they work really good. They're very lightweight. They're very compact. So they don't take a whole lot of space when you're traveling. I really like them. You can go to forcefin, I think it's forcefin.com. I don't get paid anything for that. And you can check them out yourself. They put a lot of research on their website. You look it up, see if it fits for you. But well, one thing it always does is uh, people always comment on them. They're like, wow, you got some crazy looking fins. Check them out, force fin. For the exposure system, here in Colorado, the water is cold. So I have this five mil Neosport. When I was in Key Largo, I have this waterproof 2.5 mil. I really love this suit. However, the water was so warm down there, I didn't really need it. But when I was in Puerto Rico, I think I said Puerto Rico, I was in Key Largo. When I was in Puerto Rico last year, I would have needed this. The water was just a little bit cool. So after my second dive, I was starting to get a little chilly. I don't think a rash, get, rash guard would have worked. This would have worked. When I was in Key Largo, the coldest the water was is 86 degrees. And that was at 98 feet. This was a little too much. But I'd still like the protection. At that point, with that warm of water, I could have just used a rash guard for the protection and not have to worry about getting cold. For the delivery system, I liked the Atomic V2 with the swivel. Ever since I first tried one of these, when I rented some gear, I knew this is what I wanted. And this one is air integrated with my computer. This is a sheer water Tarek. You can see how bright it is. You could be 10 feet away and be able to read this thing. Well, depending on visibility. Uh, but this makes it super easy for me with my diminishing vision where I need reading glasses. I can't read most of the other computers that are out there. This one I can. So I love this setup for my delivery system. With my computer. This is a sheer water Tarek. You can see how bright it is. You could be 10 feet away and be able to read this thing. Well, depending on visibility. Uh, but this makes it super easy for me with my diminishing vision where I need reading glasses. I can't read most of the other computers that are out there. This one I can. So I love this setup. For the buoyancy aspect, I went with the Oceanic BioLite. It's a travel BC that I really like. It feel, fits great, dives great. You get pockets in the back for your weights, got pockets in the front. Just wonderful, wonderful BC. 
And that's what I died with. The one thing I learned though, I didn't put it in my other videos. You see this rusting? You know, if you ever put rings on these, make sure they're marine grade or stainless steel. Otherwise they start rusting, which is what happened here. So that was another little lesson. For communication I have different things. So on night dives, I take this little light, just twist it, now it's on. I just hook this to the back of my BC, right by the top of the tank. And so it just floats there. So anybody could easily see me. These are great little lights to have. If I need to catch somebody's attention, I always have my secondary light. And if I was on the surface, if I needed to, I could use that to capture the attention of the boat. And if I have my camera, I have my primary light that I could use as well. Otherwise, I have the special surface marker buoy that I could use to show my location if needed. For my camera, I went with the Sea Life Sport Diver. This is made for the iPhone. So I just stick my iPhone right in here. I can't demonstrate that because that's what's filling. But it goes right in here. You close it down. You seal it up. There's an app and everything that works with it. It's wonderful. So you could take still pictures or video. As you notice, I mostly did video. Have my light here. This is standard light. However, tend to get a lot of backscatter. That's all you seeing all the stuff that's floating between you and your subject that you're trying to film. So what I'm going to be doing, my next night dive, is adding a handle. Now, this, I can position different ways. I could bring it down and around to get around that backscatter. Could be up here, could be down this way, however I want with this. But I'm also going to experiment with having two. So now you can see I can do a lot. I can even bring it straight around down underneath however I want to film with this but well, I won't really know how it's going to work until I actually use it so on my next night dive I'm going to experiment with just the basic with one extra and with two extras and see how it goes and that will determine what I want to do going forth with my setup